Hello again and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action, my series of thread sketching and thread painting demonstrations. I'm Deborah Wursu of ThreadSketchingInAction.com and decided it was high time I brought you another demo. It's been far too long. As you can see, this is a thread painting of a beautiful floating water lily, using as a base a digitally adjusted image printed on fabric. Working from my printed image, I selected a range of threads to use. I may have added one or two more than shown here that didn't make it into this photo. In creating this thread painting, I decided to deviate from my favourite zigzag stitch and work this one entirely with free motion straight stitch. This is a viable option to try, especially with a flower such as the water lily with its elegant elongated petals. Made up in the normal quilt format of batting, backing and top fabric, this work contains no dedicated stabiliser, so my plan was to keep the stitching fairly sparse. However, even with the best of intentions, I simply couldn't resist filling in more and more colour to achieve my desired amount of shading. I guess I'm a colour-loving thread painter at heart, and although the printed image was not as washed out looking as it appears here, I wanted to make the colours pop more against the darker background. And to do this, it was necessary to use quite a wide range of light and bright threads blended with toning shades and darker colours. The secret to thread painting on a non-stabilised quilt sandwich is to know when to stop. To know when enough stitching is enough. I did take this one to the brink, but in the end had no problems with puckering and pull up in the completed work. How can you work out when to stop if working a similar piece? Two things to keep in mind are to never stitch too much in one area and keep your stitching evenly distributed across the whole design. Over time and with practice you develop a sense of how much stitching is right for any particular design and you'll be able to calculate when to stop. I'll let you just watch for a few moments now as I build up the layers of colour. It's obviously been a while since I filmed one of these demonstrations as I must have bumped the camera and so missed the last section of stitching. I really don't think you'd be interested in looking at a random part of the edge of my sewing machine. So I've switched to these still shots where you can see how I've blended the different shades of thread. If I were working this using a different stitch, such as zigzag stitch, the colours would be more blended than here. However, as I mentioned before, it was necessary to avoid building up too much thread in any one area. I hope you'll give this easy technique a try sometime soon. To learn more about thread sketching and thread painting, why not take an online class with me? Head over to learn.debrawursu.com to see what's on offer, or follow the links to courses from threadsketchinginaction.com. In the meantime, 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.